Hello, and you are here with Slender Dan, and I have kind of a little neat video for you. What I have here on the floor, thanks to Lord Calamari, who's letting me borrow them, are four of the Fantasy Gold Weapons. They're the exact four. So right here, I just want to throw them on the floor so you guys could see them. They're a little bloody because I use them. I've got the Skull Mace. I have the Battle Axe of Titans. I have the Smack Hammer, and I have the Blade of Order. So obviously the battle axe is the one that does the most damage with over 1900, but they all are really high up there, with the lowest being the blade of order by a couple of points. So basically these were added in the latest true dying light patch, and I read about them and I saw them in the developer tools and I'm like, wow, these are awesome. So this is what the skull mace looks like. This is what the battle axe looks like. This is the smack hammer, and then this is the sword. Honestly, I just think they're really awesome and that they were added in here. I heard the way to farm them is to either, there's a very, very small chance that you can find them inside of police vans, or um, you can farm them in the night hunter modes if you are into that. The night hunter modes are awesome. So obviously each one of them does extreme damage. I mean, straight out decapitations, killing and everything. You could probably walk up to a thug and one hit kill it or something. Uh, with the weapons, because obviously they're very powerful. Um, one thing that we want to look into with these weapons is some of them can be upgraded and some of them can't. So if you look in the menu and you look at the skull mace, you're able to upgrade it, but you're not able to add any blueprints. Uh, but with the axe and with the blade of order, you're actually able to add them on there. So you can make them into very, very powerful weapons with the smack hammer and the skull mace not being able to be crafted at all. You're just able to upgrade them with king mods, obviously, where you could the highest king mod, you can have over 4,500 damage on one weapon. So, obviously, if you look on the bottom, some of these can be repaired, and some of them can't. Like the skull mace, you're not able to repair it. Uh, the battle axe, you're not able to repair, and the same goes with the smack hammer. So the only one that you're able to repair actually is the sword out of them. So there's the four fantasy weapons, and that's what we're looking at, but the other three are kind of like the Korok machete and the uh, Excalibur weapon. So we got a bunch of guys here. It gives us a chance to actually show our weapons, how they work, how sweet they are. Idiots. Let's see. Uh, let's try with this. I just love the sound because it sounds like I'm using... Like when you walk up and you fight one, it sounds like you're using a board. Like it sounds like you're using a plank. Which is funny because you have a massive like skull weapon that's made out of steel. So those are the four fantasy weapons that you guys can obviously form. So like the Blade of Order, Smack Camel, Smack Hammer, not Camel. That'd be awesome. Battle Axe of, Battle Axe of Titans and then Skull Mace. So I just wanted to kind of just do a short video just to show you guys what they look like, how much damage they did, if they had durability, if you could craft on them, if you could add stuff. And that's everything to know on the fantasy weapons, and that's everything that we know so far. So, if you like this video, please throw a like. By the way, if you found any or I missed any of the fantasy weapons, please post in the comments below because there are a lot of stuff being added to Dying Light recently, which is awesome. And I would just like to, wa I would like to thank you for watching this video. So thanks a lot. I'll see you guys here in the next one.